Thank you, darling. Yeah, some say revenge is a dish best served cold. So whatever happened to that Bob guy you were after? Personally, I'd like to hear some of your other adventures. Like, uh, I don't know, do you ever go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a red man? Yes, I did, Ben. I remember once I was after this renegade Apache, Grey Wolf. Strangely enough, revenge was also his primary motivation. Please don't get mad at Grandpa Paul Iding. He's from a different time. And I'm... The Jay of Spade. Welcome back to Let's Play Call of War as Gunslinger. This video is going to be a little short since it's only one level instead of two. I'm just going like that to keep with the flow of the story. It'll make more sense once the rest of the videos come out. A bounty was put on Grey Wolf's head, and that's how I came to hunt him in the mountains. Mountains so high, they tickled the nether regions of heaven. Grey Wolf was a Chiricahua Apache medicine man who had led a war party in revenge for a massacre against his people. The U.S. Army had attacked his tribe during his daughter's sacred sunrise ceremony. And the slaughter was unspeakable. I understood his anger as there's nothing more traumatic than seeing those you love die in a cruel and painful death. Right from the beginning, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. He led a band of young Apache warriors who wanted retribution and were more than willing to die for him. I thought Grey Wolf was just a nickname, but it turns out he's an actual Grey Wolf. Weird! They saw me before I saw them. God, I love that skill. It looks so cool every time you do it. This level actually switches up the enemies you encounter since you're fighting Grey Wolf's men. Crossed my mind that maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But now that the shooting has started, there was no backing down. You have to listen close for the runners. You don't want to be caught off guard. Ranger, don't mind if I do. And if we go around to the other side of this cabin, we might find ourselves a little secret. It was rugged country, the winter home of the Cherokawas. And that's why they had retreated there. They got a pretty nice summer home too. It's on the beach. It's really great. I house sit for them whenever they're out. I admit to having some regrets about going after them the way I did. But then again, I got a lot of those. Alright, time to level up, and since we're kind of behind on our ranger skill, I decided to go with steady aim. It just gives us a bit of an extra zoom while aiming. It's... not great. I just want to get to the next tier of ranger skills. I'm firing so fast I don't even have time for the extra zoom to kick in. It's a little bit pointless on anything other than the rifle. Not at that moment, but I did find the entrance to their hideout. Uh, 
It feels really lame going into concentration just to have to reload your gun. But being in concentration mode will keep your combo active, so popping in just to reload your guns is a viable strategy. A deep crevice that led to a deeper cave. Don't tell me you went in there. Yeah, but it's not out of bravery so much as pure, angry cussedness. So sometimes I'm really bad at video games and I have trouble figuring out where to go. I cut that out for you. Then, I had a stubborn streak a mile wide, and I wasn't about to back down. So it was like pitch black in there? Actually, it was pretty well lit as they had torches on the walls. Actually, there are a lot of torches here now that I'm looking. Like... Like, probably an exorbitant amount. How big was this cave? Big as hell, Ben. Chiricahua had hit out there during the Indian Wars. Like, this room's pretty well lit already by natural sunlight. Why do you need all these torches in here? They thought it was haunted with the ghosts of those murdered by the horse soldiers. The cave was haunted with dead Indian ghosts? <laughs> to be honest, I was more concerned with the live ones than the dead ones. You can get a pretty good combo going in this room. With the enemies lined up like this, it's pretty easy to get them. I'm a Butterfingers, though, and I drop my combo. How come you know so much about engines? A few years back, I was married to two Mescalero women. At the same time? Yeah, they were sisters. Polygyny is traditional among the Mescalero. So what happened? Oh, I had to get out of there. Those girls never shut up. Both of them nagging at me all the time. Drove me half crazy. I haven't seen him since. No, I mean, what happened with Grey Wolf? Oh, well, I pursued him into the Cave of Death. I came upon this flooded grotto, and that's when I saw him. He came to me unarmed and unafraid. His voice echoed in the shadows. And I sensed he meant me no harm. You carry great darkness in your heart, and if you do not release it, it will claim your soul. The sound of his voice put some kind of ancient Indian spell on me. As his story unfolded in my mind. Come to this place to burn and kill many more men, and the darkness will grow until it consumes everything in the world. The soul would have no rainbow if the eye had no tears. He said I was a great warrior, a coyote man, unequaled by any other pale-faced warrior. Something. The snakes will bite shadows of their past until a venom comes into your heart, and an echo of the song of the dead summons the spirits deep from within the mountains. I didn't quite get what he was saying, but there was definitely snakes. And indeed, his warriors surrounded me and attacked me like hungry wolverines. They couldn't stop me, though, and Grey Wolf wasn't in the mood for idle talk. 
Man, gauntlet after gauntlet. With all these enemies, I feel like I should be breaking out a light gun. I swear I couldn't see any way out of this trap. But suddenly, one just appeared. Kinda like a mirror. Well, now that we have a moment's reprieve, we can get a new skill. I actually really like this skill. It's a carryover from Bound in Blood, where you can hammer the reload button to reload faster. I felt like I would be lost in that damn cave forever. Finally, I found myself back outside, perched on the edge of a precipice, overlooking a thundering white water river. To get where I was going required several leaps of faith. But no way in hell I was turning back. I chased after him, determined to make him explain the meaning of all that mumbo-jumbo. Mumbo-jumbo's right. Are you making this all up as you go? A few details may be fuzzy, brother, but I am relating exactly what happened to me. There were dozens of Apache warriors aiming at me from on high. Dozens? Well, maybe not dozens, but there was a lot of them. At least three or four. Well, more than that, little lady. I don't know, that sounds about right. It probably would have been better for me to use my rifle at this point, with the enemies being as far away as they are, but hindsight's 2020, I guess. I had a steep climb up creek ahead of me and scrambled up those rocks like a mountain goat. I was determined to locate Grey Wolf and find out exactly what the hell he was trying to tell me. And wouldn't you know it, that crafty son of a bitch led me right into a trap. What kind of trap? Well, son, there had to be at least a hundred Apaches around me. A hundred? God be my witness. <laughs> oh, come on. Who are you kidding? Hey, I believe you. Come on, tell us how it ended. All right, but I'm not gonna drag this out. Where were we? You were surrounded by a hundred Apache warriors. Well, I didn't take the time to count them exactly, but there were a lot of them. This part's pretty stressful because these runners just keep coming. Sound cues are key. This level really likes to throw you into big gunfights where you're mostly stationary. It's kind of interesting. It gives this level a unique feel from the others. And in the end, a path appeared before me that I had not seen before. I followed it as I desperately needed to find out what Grey Wolf was trying to tell me. But it was like that some of a bitch disappeared into thin air. Never did find him. And never did collect my goddamn bounty. Like I said, a bit of a short episode this week, but we'll be back again in two weeks for the next Let's Play Call of Juarez Gunslinger. Stay tuned.